hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And now we have another caller. We have Bill on the line from St. Catharines, Ontario. Hey, Bill. How are you? Good. How are you and Amber? Well, we're very great. well. Good. Great. Great. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I discovered your show last September, and uh, I've enjoyed it ever since. So. Well, we're so glad that you watch. I yeah. really appreciate it. What can I do for you? Okay, my question is about this registry fix program, such as uh, yeah. RegClean, the free one from Microsoft. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's other ones like uh, Registry Mechanic. And uh, I'm wondering if these programs are worth using, or is there a chance they'll just create problems? Uh, I have a very strong opinion about this, but let me first explain what reg cleaners are. You know, your registry is a very important part of Microsoft Windows. It's where Windows stores all of its settings, and it's huge. Um, and it's actually not just one file, it's a couple of files. Uh, and so, you know, you can even look at your registry, if you want, by uh, clicking Start, Run, and entering R-E-G-E-D-I-T, which is Reg Edit. That'll launch the registry editor. This is actually just a window into the registry. The registry doesn't really look like this. It's a, it's a binary file that can't actually be uh, read directly, so they have this program. And if you'll see, that the way the registry contains is something called keys. Now, there are a lot of keys. We're going to look at uh, uh, H key current user, which is where a lot of what goes on in Windows goes on. Uh, and then we're going to uh, uh, say, uh, let's see, let's take a look at, uh, um, I don't know. And, well, any number of things, control panels, here's some of the control panels and so forth. And you'll see under desktop, there is a bunch of, there are a bunch of settings, okay? Now, some of these are related to Windows specifically, but applications can also put their own stuff in there. Uh, and so, in fact, uh, every application or most applications use the uh, registry to store information. And here's what happens is that this database of settings can sometimes contain stuff that you no longer need. Uh, here's all the software settings under HKEY Current User. And these are all programs that we've installed at one point. But let's say we uninstalled Smart FTP, and look, there's still a key there. Now, the reg cleaners, what they do is they go through and they check and they see if those programs are still installed, and they remove keys for programs that are no longer installed. They may also, the better ones, check consistency to make sure the keys actually make sense, although that's a little trickier to do. So the potential is, I guess, to tidy these things up. But this isn't your closet exactly, you know, Bill. This is a, a really key, uh, critical system file. And a mistake that is made in this file can cause all sorts of havoc. Weird, li I mean, in some cases, to keep your computer from booting. In, in some ways, that's better than a weird little program, a glitch that happens over and over, but you can never figure out quite what's causing it. That could be more annoying, frankly, than your computer not booting at all. So, and, my, and I don't, and now, so my opinion, there's grave risk to using registry cleaners. In fact, Microsoft's own RegClean uh, was terrible. And we, we had to tell people, don't use it. Whatever you do, it's going to ruin your system. You've got all sorts of problems. Now, the, some of the commercial ones do a better job than the Microsoft's own. Um, the real question is, do we get any benefit? There's definitely a risk. Is there any benefit to using a registry cleaner? And now, Andy Walker, who uh, hosted this show uh, for a long time and is a good friend, used to be a big fan of these registry cleaners. And I think you probably remember, Mike, when Andy did, uh, it, we, and Sean, too, we went, went in the labs and we were trying to see what helps, what speeds up your system, and they tried all different things. And one of the things he tried was reg cleaner. Yeah. Did it speed up our systems at all? I don't think No. It did it fix our systems in any way? I don't think so. Hard to tell. <laughs> I don't think it did anything. No. And so you're running this grave risk of creating an unbootable system or, or deleting a key that you really need for a program to work at, and getting no benefit whatsoever. So there's only one time when a registry cleaner is indicated, and that is if your registry gets too big. If it gets bigger than two gigabytes, <laughs> it's going to stop working. So, uh, <laughs> and this is just a nice little feature that Microsoft's built in that it actually just fails. So, uh, and then your system crashes, and you're so sorry. So if it if it if that should ever happen, I guess you might want to use a registry cleaner. My, I would submit. First of all, I've never had that happen. Uh, you, you really would have to install and uninstall and uninstall and have all sorts of things go on before it would get to that state. And, um, and, and frankly, I, I think before then you should just reinst you know, start over, reinstall everything before you, before you get to that point. So to, the short answer to your question is don't use a registry cleaner. I don't think there's any benefit to be gained. And there's certainly